the EU has been positive for Gibraltar and it's regrettable for Gibraltar, I think, that we will find ourselves out. But that should not let uh, lead people to become despondent in Gibraltar or to fear um, uh, that life as we know it in Gibraltar is going to come to an end. There will be a period of uncertainty, as there is a period of uncertainty in the UK. And the period of uncertainty that we face is not very different to the period of uncertainty that the UK faces. All right, we have the additional uncertainty about whether Spain is going to do this or that at the border or whether Spain is going to try and exclude us from the UK's Brexit, uh, uh, post-Brexit deal or not. And we can, uh, I'm happy to give you my views on that too. But on balance, Gibraltar is good at reinventing itself. We are good at tweaking our economic orientation and our economic policies to uh, uh, adjust to new events. We have done it very successfully several times in our history, and I have no doubt that we will do it again. And I would just like to take this opportunity, which you kindly offer me, just to encourage people in Gibraltar not to spend the next two years sitting on the edge of their seats worried about this or that. It'll be all right on, in the end. <laughs> Uh, you defended Gibraltar in the face of a joint sovereignty threat, which led, of course, to the referendum in 2002. The British government's position on this has changed, of course, and you achieved the double lock uh, commitment on sovereignty. But Spain's claim remains. Uh, so how do you think the Gibraltar government can best go about ensuring that Spain doesn't find a key in these Brexit negotiations to uh, pick that double lock? There is no prospect of Spain somehow using the forthcoming negotiating process to unpick the double lock. The double lock is unpickable. It is set in stone. There is no prospect of, of even a negotiation on sovereignty with which the Gibraltar government is not, uh, is not content. And therefore, certainly on the question of sovereignty, I think people in Gibraltar should be completely carefree. There is no threat of a return of joint sovereignty, or the UK government re itself readopting any joint sovereignty initiative in the context of the uh, challenging two years that it faces and, um, and us with it in relation to the joint sovereign to the I beg your pardon uh, exit negotiations and the post Brexit uh, new relationship between Gibraltar and hope, uh, UK and hopefully Gibraltar and the EU, and therein lies one of the keys. I don't think the threat is of, of the nature of joint sovereignty. The risk, uh, and threat if you want, is rather that whatever Brexit deal or post-Brexit deal, as people now I think understand, there are two different deals to be struck by the United Kingdom. One is the technically the Brexit deal, in other words, what they now call in the press the divorce agreement. And the other quite separate thing is, after the divorce, what is the future relationship? And that is what interests us.